Now back handed down the boards by Moffey. Michigan with sustained pressure inside Cornell's zone. There's Nieves along the boards. The back pass toward the point, intercepted by Nisley, and he starts out. Greg Miller after it, number 16. That's him with the puck. Watched closely by Kevin Clare. Three on two battle in the corner. Puck still loose, still nobody in possession. Di Giuseppe tried to swat it out of his own, but good work by Cornell on the boards to keep it in. There's Miller behind the net. Centers, and that shot score! <laughs> Timu Tietinen was parked off the right post. And he makes it 2 nothing for Cornell. And he called for the puck emphatically after a great forecheck. This is called puck protection and winning the battle. Something that head coach Mike Schaefer has been really pressing his team to start doing more of. They started doing better last weekend with it. Now this weekend, or this game, they're starting to see it pay off. The pull-up move behind the net. Bringing the puck back to the front by Miller. Heads up the whole way. The Wolverines lose track of Timu Tietinen. Low right side. And again, another low shot. Beats the goaltender Racine there. And the big red up 2 nothing. Timu Tietinen. Goal and it's stopped. A good save by Steve Racine as it deflected in front. And again, now Michigan showing some frustration with 6.46 remaining the here thing, in the second. The last thing they need to do is take another penalty. Let's go back to the goal and let's show you what ends up happening. There's the pucks in the corner on the cycle right there. But take a look right here. There's a line change going on. Go ahead and roll it. Godovitz, I beg your pardon, uh, Tietman's going to come on the ice. Here he comes into the middle of the ice surface right there. Go ahead and roll it again, guys. As the puck goes down to the corner, he gets himself, he loses himself, so to speak. He gets away from all the Wolverines that are following the puck and not following the man coming on the ice. Miller's deflected away at the